Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Take your Webflow website to a new height in 2023 by connecting it to ChatGPT. This comprehensive tutorial will show you how to seamlessly integrate ChatGPT for more engaging and interactive web experiences. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, here it is Webflow and here it is Chat GPT. So basically this is my Webflow dashboard. Here you can find the marketplace as you can see right in front of you. There is here apps if you want to go to apps and maybe in here you will be able to find Chat GPT. So in case you were very interested in searching, you can simply click here and search for all the apps. Here uh, if you can't app that you like, you can request if you would like to add ChatGPT. But in general, uh, Webflow at the moment doesn't have ChatGPT as an app. So how can we add ChatGPT into Webflow without having it in the marketplace of Webflow itself? And we all know that ChatGPT doesn't have an app integration system in it. We only have an API key that will help us to connect it to other apps. So what can we do? Well, in this video, I will explain all of that to you. Simply, the first thing that I will need you to do is to go to zapier.com. Then, as you can see, this is the website zapier.com. And after that, make sure to go to the left side menu. You will find here apps. Make sure in the app section to search for Webflow. And as you can see, here it is. Make a connection simply by clicking on connect. And another small window will be open. So simply here, just choose your workflow or workspace, authorize app, and there you have it. So now the connection has been made successfully, but we don't know if the connection is actually good. So let's test it by clicking on these three points and test connection. As you might see, the test is successful. Now let's get out and what we need to do is the same thing but with chat GPT. This time it could be a little bit different. So what we need to do is search for chat GPT and in here click on connect. After that make sure to go in this window you will find API key required. To create an API key, what you will need to do is to head up to openai.com, click on the login button, as you can see, and here guys, click on API. <coughs> so, in this page, you can simply click on your personal uh, account, and then click on view API keys. And here you'll be able to find all the different API keys that you have or create new ones if you don't want. So for example, Webflow and then create secret key. The next thing to do is to simply copy it and then go ahead to your Zapier account, that small window that has been opened, paste it there and add it a name so it can be easier for you to find. Yes, continue. And there you have it. So it's very easy to connect, guys. It's not that difficult. Well, after that, do the same thing. Go to your connections. And here, guys, make sure to verify it. So let me just test. Not that one. I meant that one. Okay. And here it is. It has been done successfully. So my account is working. So now, what do we need to do? We need to create a Zap. So a Zap is basically the integration of the two apps together. So now what are we going to do is when someone orders in my Webflow store, make a table with information using charge GPT and send it to me per email and there we have it so now click on generate 
and wait a couple of seconds and the AI will give you the information. And basically this text box is a prompt, which is basically a text to describe what do you want exactly from this integration to do. And now, as you can see here, the Webflow, there is Webflow, there is ChatGPT and there is your email. So this is what it's going to be. New order, conversation with ChatGPT and send the outbound email. So it will happen when the order has been sent to Webflow. A conversation shall be created with ChatGPT to make this order as a table so we can know all the details organized. And then the step three, it will be sent to our email. So we will get notified. But here I will change that by Gmail. So I can uh, send it per my Gmail account, not per uh, another platform. So let's wait a little bit. And there we have it. That is very good. And even now, since we have used Gmail, now they give us the opportunity to even use the Google Sheets. So they are actually going to create a Google Sheet for us, which is pretty insane. So now let's click here to try it out. So now what you need to do is to connect every one of these accounts that you own. For example, Webflow, click on here to choose and choose your account. It's very easy, guys. And there we go, continue. Here, just choose whatever site you have. And for me, for example, I don't really have any sites at the moment. Let me just try another one. Continue. Here, at, at the same time, here it is one of my sites. Continue. And then it should be just there, but I don't really have any um, order. So it might not find, but in general, um, I can just skip the test since I don't really have any orders in my website. So skip test, skip test, and it will turn this to a green light, which is good for us. Now continue and do the same thing with chat GPT. Continue here, continue. The action will be user misses is the uh, comments order comments. And then just like that, continue this step. Wait a little bit. Here you exceeded your current quota. Please check your plan and billing details. So in general here what they have told us is I have reached the maximum amount of API keys that I can connect and use. So basically uh, I have to upgrade my plan on OpenAI to the chat GPT4 by clicking on upgrade plan and getting this one from here. Well this is a kind of like worth it to have chat GPT plus but at the moment I'm not gonna get it but you got you got the idea so we can skip this as well and the same thing goes for sheet and for the Gmail you just have to connect your account and everything will be good to go and yeah guys this is how you can connect webflow to chat GPT I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next tutorial